SELFSI, Spoken Easy Language for Social Inclusion. Hello, I will try to speak very slow and clearly and very quick <laughs> because we have got five minutes. Uh, but I'm Esther Hedberg and I'm uh, here together with my colleague Sara Redin. We work at the National Dyslexia Association in Sweden, which is a first association for people with uh, reading, writing and mathemat mathematical difficulties. Um, we got 39 uh, responses, uh, 18 from users, 21 from professionals. And the age uh, for the users are between, or the majority of the users are between 31 and 50, and the professionals are uh, 31 to 70, so they are a bit older. Uh, yeah. And um, uh, as we could see, that the professionals work with uh, adult education no most of the professionals work with users 50 percent of the professionals work with users nine percent are uh, adult educators or produce oral content and the rest of the professionals are uh, a mixture of experts from different areas and most of the professionals do not rely on any guidelines as you can see here i think it was the same in the other countries too and if we look at the uh, users, they all have different kinds of cognitive difficulties uh, and intellectual disabilities. Uh, in the open question about the main difficulties when communicating in oral, set, oral setting, the user said the main difficult was to uh, was when people speak too fast, but even too slow. Uh, when they mumble or use difficult words. And the professionals said in different words that knowing what is easy for the users is the main difficulty. And um, in the open questions with strategies used when communicating, uh, the users asked for uh, the, the professionals to speak clearly and to make sure they have your uh, my attention and the professional strategies was to use simple language slow pace and verify that the user understands my questions then uh, textual strategies when used when communicating in oral settings uh, the both users and professionals agreed on that additional time is the most important so that is the most used and most asked for and in the linguistic strategies the users ask for word explanation and the most used uh, strategy is positive formulation And uh, in listener engaging strategies, uh, the users find it most helpful when, when you uh, use anecdotes. And the least helpful is the endearments. I think there is the same uh, situation with the um, country, Baltic countries. Yeah, <laughs> we are not really used to use them. It's a cultural thing. So you just use them when you're very close to each other. And uh, non-linguistic strategies, uh, body language, the, the user asks for that. They think it's most important. And they don't like when you're loud or when you speak loud or you raise your voice. And for the, the professional, uh, no, we can say also that in, in the open question, a part of the users mentioned talking slow is very important. But if we look at this question here, uh, only 65% answer that pauses and slow pace are helpful or very helpful. So, but we don't really know why this is a difference. And uh, among the professionals, pauses and slow speech rate is very common to use and also body language. They use body language when communicating. And my last uh, slide is uh, that both 
uh, users and professionals think that the picture photos are very helpful. And none of them really think that the sound or background sound or music is, is supporting. CELSI, spoken easy language for social inclusion. Partners are Zavo Trisa, RTV Slovenia, Dyslexi Verbundet, Universita degli Studi di Trieste, Vieglas Valodas Agentura, Vilnius Universitetas, Vsi Informatios Kaupimo Irskleidos Centras, funded by the European Union.